In a divorce, how is debt divided? Well, just like your uh, assets, you have a million dollar property, you would sell it. You know what I realized? I answer a question before I answer the question. Uh, so I'm answering how to uh, divide debt, and instead I went into how to divide an asset. Give you a little bit about that. If you have an asset of a million dollars in stock, because you don't have to do too much, you'd sell the stock and transfer the cash. But it's not the only way. Uh, if you have 200 shares of a stock, one spouse can leave with 100 shares and the other spouse can leave with 100 shares, like adding up to the 100. Uh, 200. <laughs> um, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is one person can receive all 200 shares of stock and the other person can get something else of equal value, sometimes equal or greater value, depending on the reason for that. So I want to leave with the shares of stock and you want to uh, you know, stay with the home. Let's figure that out. Or a person might want to leave with a pension plan, not dividing it at some future point, and uh, you can keep your 401k. But debt, the same way that you would divide an asset, you can divide a debt. So the couple has a, you know, credit card debt. Well, you can keep the card that was yours and I'll keep the card that was mine. But if there's a difference, you owe 20,000 on your card and I owe 10. Well, what do we do with that other 10? How do we arrive at, uh, at a solution? Well, we have to divide it. Now, one person can take it on the chin and say, I'll take the debt for a variety of reasons. They had debt, was associated with an asset and they kept the asset. What do I mean? Well, it's not even an asset, but it's, it's an item. So say I have debt associated with uh, a living room uh, set. Well, I have the living room set. I have the dining room set. I'll keep that uh, that item, those several items, and I'll also pay off the debt. Or I have a vehicle and I'll leave with the vehicle and the loan, the car loan. So the short answer is you divide it. You divide the debt and you apportion it between the two of you. And then the, uh, you know, the more complete answer is uh, you throw the assets and the debt into a pot and you try and coordinate the math of it. I'm going to leave with these assets and this associated debt and or other debt like credit cards. The other person is going to leave with something else. And the idea is to split it uh, evenly. Evenly is sometimes in the eye of the beholder. We try and work through all that.